Hello everyone, welcome back to the series of full stack web development. In previous lecture, you have seen that we created a toggle button to switch on and off a bulb. And now what we are going to do in this lecture to focus on our next problem that is creating timers. So in this, I have created a framework for you. You can see this is just a styling of that. So the main thing is this. We are creating a div and inside the div we have a paragraph that says JavaScript timers and there are two buttons. One of them says create event and another says cancel event. So you can see there are two buttons. When you click this there will be an event that will be created and another button will cancel the event. So just start with the theory of this. So basically there are two functions one of them is set timeout and another function is set interval although these functions are not part of ECMAScript specifications or any JavaScript uh, engine implementations but they are very handy if you want to perform some operations after some time or maybe you want to delay or repeat the execution of some function right so these functions have some arguments both of them are similar so the first argument will be a function that you want to either delay or repeat after that there is time in milliseconds similarly for this function time in milliseconds and after that there are some arguments argument 1 and so on up to n similarly argument 1 here and up to n for this the function have this kind of prototype argument 1 argument 2 and so on up to argument n I can also write it here like I have written in function so that you don't confuse it and up to argument n Similarly, argument n. So, what these two functions do? Set timeout delays the event. By some milliseconds as provided here. And what does set interval do? This function. repeats execution of a function as given here after some milliseconds as we have passed in second argument and you can pass multiple argument to this for example if a function is alert function so we pass some messages in alert so that message could be hello so in that case only one argument will be considered for both the functions right there is one more thing using these functions here here s is small and only T is capital here I is capital there is one more thing you can also cancel or maybe clear the events before the occurs and for that purpose there are two functions one of them is clear timeout and here we need to pass an ID Similarly, clear 
interval inside this we need to pass an id and from where that id is generated these two functions returns an id whenever they execute they returns an id which we can pass here and according to that we can cancel the events so i think this is enough for this lecture in next lecture we'll try to code all these and uh, show the demonstration if you have any doubt till now please write it in the comments and don't, don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much